Aaron managed to, to break through there in that eighth inning. Is there a collective sigh of relief when you, you kind of see the offense get going a little bit in that situation? Yeah, it was good. I mean, to have that kind of a rally and a number of guys go up and have really good, impactful at-bats, hit the ball hard, too, uh, with, within it. Um, yeah, it was great. Um, you know, kind of hung around all day. You know, uh, you know they get to Garrett there in the first couple and, and really – drive his pitch count up but he holds the line there and then the bullpen gives us a chance and and some really good at bats we're able to you know finish off a really nice uh nice win nice home stand how was Garrett able to grind through it because it looked especially early on like he perhaps did not have his best stuff I actually thought stuff wise he was pretty good um he he and right out of the gate was Simeon. I thought he made a lot of good pitches. Then he hangs him a slider. Um, but I thought the shape of the slider was good. I thought he, I thought his cutter was a factor today. Um, and, and I thought the life was there on the heater. Um, they, they got to some pitches on him, you know, that, you know, were pretty well executed. They did, they got some good swings off on him. And then, of course, you know, made him work really hard, uh, you know, on a warm day. So uh, really good job of, you know, Again, you know, you've asked me, you know, how is he different or I don't know, different, just more settled. I feel like better at handling situations, game situations, slowing things down, you know, on on not a perfect day. He's able to kind of hold the line and keep us there and and a good job by everyone in in playing a role. How encouraged are you by by seeing Stanton? Drive one in there. Yeah, it was big. Uh, yeah, I kind of felt the first take he had. Um, I kind of leaned over to Mendy. I said, "Oh, I like that." And it was borderline pitch, strike one. Then the next take I thought was looked apart a little bit to me even more. And then he's able to really hit one hit one well to left there. So it's good to see. You know, hopefully we can build on that. Um, obviously, we know when he gets going how how much of a problem he is for the opposition. Dave. And you saw with the Mayhew, Aaron. I mean, he had that break early to work on some things, and and then he was trying to get back in his hips, like you mentioned, so mechanically. Yeah. Now, do you think he's kind of through that? He's back yeah. to kind of driving the ball again. You know what? Um, I thought he had good at bats today too. The, obviously, the double in in the inning where we got back into the game, um, and actually, I think I think the double play he hit into, I think, I think Evaldi got him with a little bit of the slide step kind of quick pitch, and you know didn't. Um, but then he comes back in line. I thought he, you know, the ball he hits the right field. He hits well. That looks like DJ. So hopefully, um, but yeah, I thought I thought he looked. I thought it looked more alive to me in the box. Is the way I would put it. Who else? Bob to the right. Eric, you talk about the significance of holding the American League's top offense to seven runs in three games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great job by. Everyone, you know, and it, you know, pretty much everyone played a role in that too. You know, uh, you know, starts with Trevi and, and Higgy behind the plate, um, but you know, starters and then on on into just about everyone in the bullpen. You know, really, really played an important role for us. And you know, even five runs in regulation, they got the two runs on the on the extra inning. So definitely um, good to see the staff. Like you said, that, I mean, that's. That's a pretty, pretty powerful, pretty impressive offense that's clicking, and uh, we're able to hold them in check. And you know, today, you know, they were, you could, you could feel them a little bit, and we were able to today just limit the damage or make a pitch when they had some traffic against us with a chance to blow things open. Mark, what did you think of the way Volpe bounced back? Uh, two rough at bats, then got the you know inning started there in the eighth with the double. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, I feel like he's been trending a lot better here the last week or ten days with with the at bat quality. Um, you know, swung through a pitch that I, I think he had a the right swing out in one of his at bats against Evaldi, um, where he got maybe a two two, um, where I thought he got a pitch and looked like timing wise he was all right on it. So, um, but then you know he was he's obviously the guy that set the table for us in the big you know, where we're able to grab the lead. But, you know, that's who he is. Um, whatever's going on, he's, he's, you know, the right mindset. You know, I think he walks up there with confidence and, uh, you know, it was a, a, a big at bat for us. Uh, and you got to be able to deal with whatever's going on previously. Next play, most important, right? What did you think of King there at the end? And does he look more 
comfortable as he continues to adjust to these mechanical tweaks you guys made? Yeah, I thought today, I thought as even as his outing went along today, I thought it got a little bit better. We start, I, I saw some, saw some life. Used a little bit of everything. Used his sinker and his four seamer, but I thought he did a good job of backdooring the two seamer a couple times, mixing in his slider. Really big three two change up to uh, Simeon to start off the inning uh, to execute that pitch set him up for success in that inning um but i thought and then i thought he finished off really well with with garcia there giving him a lot of different looks um but doing that by by gaining some count leverage so good job by him of uh you know coming up big you know after a, a few few where he's, he's scuffled a little bit 